Greetings everyone, CCX here. Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And last episode, we ended up cutting down the barrier and of trying to see if Zelda was back in Hyrule Castle. She was not, and she ended up getting hijacked by Ganon. Shocker and all. We ended up entering Ganon's tower, and now we're finally going to be heading up to his wonderful throne room. Where we can go ahead and save Zelda, because damn it, she needs it. And because she no need no man. Even though Link is not a man, he's a Hylian. Well, he's not in Highland either. He's just, uh, he's, uh, he's a person. Uh, well, this looks pretty interesting. But anyways, we're actually gonna ignore that. Hmm. Let's actually go through here. As you can see here, we end up having a bunch of random switches here. Now, the thing is, these switches do not represent anything random. What you need to do first is you need to go ahead and actually head over to this side, go through this door, and the camera will actually pan to the switches that you're supposed to press. Mulgara, Goma, Jahalan, and Kaledimos. Yeah, 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 I already... I got no choice because it's the A button to go and open the door. You must remember well the appearance of this room. The shape of the floor, the number of items hanging on the wall. Such things are the key to solve it. Yeah, um, to be honest, to... Uh, here's the thing. A simple child can figure this out of what they're supposed to do. I mean, really? I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I didn't know what to do when I did this puzzle before. Because I didn't understand it. Not in terms... I actually didn't go in that room the first time. So I didn't understand what the hell I was supposed to do. And not only that, the game ends up doing it again anyways... Because Nintendo always has to hold your damn hand. Because they think that you're dumb. Thanks, game. Anyways, end up locking on to those switches. And end up throwing your boomerang. And it shall go ahead and hit everything. As this is the reason why I said that the boomerang for this one is a little bit more unique than its other predecessors. Because it actually homes into whatever you click first. I think the Twilight Princess one does this too. And I'm going to go ahead and question this now. Where the hell did you come from? I see. So this is the portal through which Ganon was able to seep into the unsuspected world above. Where did you come from? We shall make, a, make use of this path that Ganon created for himself. If there's anything from the world above that you believe you need, then climb into the boat and enter the column of darkness. Nah, bro. I'm already good. I got, like, full heart pieces. I got my magic meter. I got everything. I am, like, packing everything. I am good. <laughs> ah, wait, that's right. Before I actually continue this farce, I actually want to pull up something. We're about to go ahead and meet the wonderful and great Phantom Ganon. So, I hope that you guys are a lot more better in terms of fighting him, because the thing is about Phantom Ganon in this one is that it's a bit different and he's going to actually be a little bit, he's going to be a lot more threatening. Well, not like too threatening in the sense, he's actually going to just be the same old douchebag that he was before. But, you know, he has, um, he has something. Anyways, let's go fight him. Because I actually do have some little bit of trivia when it comes to him. Now, when you fight Ganon, you will be, he will actually be casting this, which is a very unique ability. But, you know, you can go ahead and blast him. And then you slash him. And there we go. Bada bing. Now, wherever the sword... I'm sorry that I actually was standing there like some moron, but whatever. Wherever the sword is pointing is the door you need to go through. If you go through the wrong door, you will basically be looping. And you'll be looping a lot. Trust me. You'll end up getting the confirmation when the um, when you go gone through the right door. But anyways, this, he's actually giving me a very fair pattern, so that's pretty good. And let's just wait, and don't pick up the sword either, because if you pick up the sword, you'll actually reset to where... The, the sword is not going to point to where you're supposed to go anymore. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Whoa! Calm it down, bro! Ah, crap, I missed. I don't really like it when he does that. that that's actually kind of... It's weird! You're supposed to do the other thing. Why are you being stupid? Stop being dumb. Where'd you go? No, you're still just gonna... You're still gonna keep spamming this? Really? Anyways, take it. Take it like a man. What the hell? Okay. 
Oh, wait. Oh, now you want to do it. Alright, good. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Yeah, I love this. I love the music that plays. It's basically the Link to the Past theme version of this song. I love it. I love it so much. Anyways, that's, uh, that's it for that. <laughs> Anyways, you notice we're not being... We're not able to kill him, now Because, you know, he's a phantom. So, you can't really kill phantoms. Uh, Alright, what are you doing this time? Ah, thank you. Finally, you're doing something that I can actually enjoy. Because I don't like the other stuff that you do. And now remember, you can go ahead and use the ball to go ahead and actually beat him too, but I'm not going to do that because we don't need no lols in my Let's Play. <coughs> Sorry about that. Because I'm caught up in my throat. <sighs> yeah. Alright, Phantom Ganon. Go ahead and do your dumb... Oh, no, you're not... Oh, wow, really? Yeah, for some reason, if you stop doing the whole... If you fail the red thing so many damn times, you will always do this. And to be honest, I prefer this because sometimes it's very finicky if you fall down or not. And it's annoying to like no end. But anyways, this goes on for quite a bit. Not for, it's almost done though. Oh, there it goes. Now you changed it up. <laughs> Snope.exe <laughs> And go away. And ah, oh, cool. And this is the final room. Welcome to the final room, ladies and gentlemen. You know you're in the final room because the gate locked up behind you. Whoa, bro. Calm it down, man. Kanji Bino Jutsu, my foot. Anyways, now Ganon is gone. But we did it, guys. Now we're about to get something that very that's very interesting. Now, before I go ahead and finish this, this sword here, you notice that you can see a bit of a Hylian text on it. This is actually a reference to something. The blue outlines around Phantom Ganon's cape and the Wind Waker only appears on the sharp edge of the cape. Well, no, okay, no, that's not really the damn... That's not what I wanted to give you guys. The Hylian script on Phantom Ganon's sword reads Zabora and Gabora. I will be pointing their images on screen. The names of the blacksmith who forges Link's Razor Sword and Gilda's Sword in Majora's Mask. This is kind of giving us an indication that this sword was handcrafted now you're probably wondering how the hell is this sword handcrafted by those two you know what the world may never know because even i don't even know at this point it can go ahead and say of an indication that this sword is originated from majora's mask or that phantom ganon originated from majora before all else i mean eh, it could be now anyways we end up getting the wonderful and glorious light arrow you guys are probably wondering what the hell we're we gonna use the light arrows for well let's just say this phantom ganon is weak to light arrows right guys so you know what that means it's time to shoot the hell out of him it's time to shoot the ghost that end up being a pain in my ass where are you ganon whoa there you are and goodbye. By the way, I love the animation that you get for when you shoot people with the light arrow. It's such a satisfying feeling. Anyways, this door here we can't break naturally, so we just have to go ahead and eh, throw the sword and break the door in half. How would you know to do that? Eh. <laughs> I really don't know, to be honest. Anyways, and that is the end of that, and that is the end of Ganon's Phantom. Which is actually a complete lie, because we end up seeing it again. But now it is time for my favorite part of the game, where I end up showcasing every single aspect of what this arrow can do. Goodbye. Okay, no, Link, we don't want to carry stuff. Look at this. Look how disgusting the light arrow does. Eh, Dark Knight has an armor? Nah, Dot.exe, you're dead. <laughs> Light arrows says nothing to your damn, um, to your friggin' shields. They say nothing to your moblins. They say nothing to your damn lanterns. They said nothing at all. They care nothing about your armor. They really don't give no fracks. Die, Dark Nuts. Die. Ah, <laughs> uh, we just sent them all to heaven. Oh, yeah, you had no choice but to kill them, though. Because <laughs> you guys are probably wonder why are you killing them? It's like, yeah, you had no choice but to kill them. I mean, I could have just, you know what I could have done? And I'm pretty sure that I'm probably not the only one that does this. 
drive them all into one um into one line and just shoot all of them at once. All right, guys. Um, all right. This is actually going to be a little bit longer, and I don't know how long this fight, this boss fight, is going to take because it is time for us to fight. It's time for us to have a boss fight. So I hope you guys are prepared and you guys are ready because it is time for the boss fight that I do not like the most, and I hate this boss with a passion. I only hate him because of what he, because the last, the last phase of what happens. That's why. But this boss fight. This this moment here, it's pretty damn interesting. It's pretty damn good. I was like really happy when I got to this moment. Hey, uh oh, Zelda's asleep. She's sleeping, Beauty. Do you sleep still? Wait. Do not be so hasty, boy. I can see this girl's dreams. Oceans, 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 oceans. Oceans as far as the eye can see. They are vast seas, none can swim across them. They yield no fish to catch. What did the king of Hyrule say? That the gods sealed Hyrule away. And they left behind people who would one day awaken Hyrule. How ridiculous. So many pathetic creatures scatter across a handful of islands, drifting on the sea like fallen leaves on a forgotten pool. What can they possibly hope to achieve? Don't you see? All of you. Your gods destroyed you! I've been waiting for you, boy. For one like you, yes. For the hero. Do not betray my expectations. If you notice, the Ganon did not have any pupils in his eye. That's because it's, it's not Ganon. We have fought Phantom Ganon. We have fought Ganon Pig. We have fought every other Ganon. But, say hello to the notorious and creepy monstrous Puppet Ganon. I don't know why I said the name. I always end up putting the titles. I, I, I'm going to do it anyways. Who cares? Now, Puppet Ganon is a lot more interesting than any of the other boss fights that you have fought. Basically, he is tied down to ropes. So, yeah, there's that. So, that's pretty good. I don't know if I want to do something. There was something I was thinking that this fight actually can take a bit of a long time if you don't know what you're doing. And fight, this boss fight is actually the worst boss fight in the game. It's also the most challenging. Remember when I said that every other boss aside from old Gara was the most difficult? I still state that. Phantom Ganon will be the one to really wreck you to no end. He is really, really difficult. What you need to do is, and the red rope you cannot cut at all. What you need to do is you need to cut all of his ropes. Once you've done that, pull out your light arrows and shoot him in the tail. You need to do this at a quarter of three times. So, yeah. So, what he'll do is he'll go back and he'll re, um, rehab, <laughs> retract his ropes again. And then you have to do it all over again. I was thinking of cutting to when I actually just defeat the form, but this is not a commentary, and this is actually a let's play, so I can't really do that. Occasionally, he'll do his little spinning thing. You guys know old Dawa from Majora's Mask, where he'll make a little bit of a dumb chant. Well, Phantom G uh, Puppet Ganon also has that same bit where he'll do that same spin thing. And luckily enough, what I like about this boss fight is that he doesn't have touch damage, but he does, he can hit like a truck. So, that's like the only thing that he does. Like, I'm glad that he does not have touch damage in this form. He does have touch damage in the other forms, though. Yes, don't think that this is the last boss fight. In fact, I'm going to let you guys hear the victory music that you get from when you do defeat this um, boss. And there's like one thing I like about Phantom Ganon is that his animation is wonderful. But anyways, enjoy the next part. Oh 
Oh my god, it's Spider Ganon. Anyways, for this fight, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and turn the camera up, pan the camera overhead, so that you can be able to see Phantom Ganon's shit. Phantom Ganon. Uh, I keep calling him Phantom Ganon, I don't know why, but you want to see Puppet Ganon's is shadow. Well, not shadow, image on the water. This is a this is a strategy that you end up getting from the um, guide, so it makes it a lot easier for it actually to hit him. So, yeah, just do that. This form is pathetically easy to beat. It's the next form that everyone hates. I hope you guys have played other Zelda games because you guys know this boss. He is from the Tower of Hera. He is from every, he is from Link's Awakening. He is from your nightmares. He is the wonderful and great evil worm, Moldom, ladies and gentlemen. And he is back. And I have to say, I love this music that plays when you fight this version of Phantom Ganon. Puppet Ganon. Why do I keep calling him Phantom Ganon? Anyways, Moldorm Ganon here is a lot more aggressive than his predecessors in the fact that in this one he actually summons a bunch of little, um, those things that the bug enemy summons and it can slow you down and also screw up your damn ability of fighting him. It's to basically end up stopping you from actually maneuvering him. I mean, as of right now, he's giving me a very easy pattern to friggin' not be worried about, but... You know, it could still be annoying. Now, the thing is, you can throw bombs at him. He actually suffers from what um, Old Dawas' butterflies deal with. And the fact that if you throw a bomb, it will go ahead and travel throughout all those... Um, it will travel where the boat... The, the boat... The smoke area is located. Holy crap, look at that slowdown. My god. It's like there's something wrong with my weed. <laughs> uh, that's actually not a funny thing to smile about. Actually, why am I getting slow down in the first place? I should not be getting slow down in this fight. Uh, whatever. Anyways, goodbye. Okay, or not. Whatever. Anyways, he's actually giving me a very simplistic pattern. Usually he... Okay, no, never mind. As I say this, he ends up bum-rushing me like a damn freight train. Okay, I keep time mistiming my shots. I gotta stop doing that. Okay. All right, Phantom Ganon, you've been in my nightmares for way too long. Gonna have to tell you to get lost. And that is the Battle of Phantom Ganon, ladies. <sighs> Phantom Ganon. You wanna know why I keep calling him Phantom Ganon? Because P, that's why. Puppet, Phantom. I know there's two different things, but still. Actually, I can't really help but say that. I wonder if Phantom Ganon is actually based off of that, but eh, whatever, who cares? <sighs> Yes, surely you are the hero of time reborn. You made the hero of time fight a puppet version of yourself? Because that's not what he fought in the Ocarina of Time. Your time has come. Hey, that's Dumbass line. Come now, stand before me. Goodbye, I'm going to float in the air, because for some reason I can do that now. You just clipped through the thing. Don't act like I didn't see that. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of Phantom... Puppet, cannon, god damn it. <laughs> Alright, now the thing here is that this pot right here, this pot doesn't really come into play until you actually reach the, um, the, uh, the top part. So what you need to do is climb up on the rope. Climb on the rope that technically was attached to Puppet Ganon. Huh. That was actually not as bad as I thought. Now, there are multiple strategies that people will take. Like, you see those balconies where those fires and those pots are located? Most people will hookshot themselves up there and stay up there and try to go ahead and um, snipe Puppet Ganon's tail. It's a lot difficult to do, but eh, it can be done. You can also use bait to attract Phantom Ganon. Yes, I know, it's very weird to you using bait to end up attracting a boss. And that's really about it. You can also stun him if you manage to hit him when you um when you are near his when you shoot him with the light arrow in his face. I'm just gonna say this now. The stun does nothing. It all oh, it's the stun is only three seconds. And by the time you have those three seconds, those three seconds are gonna be up by the time you turn around and hit him. Because <laughs> Fan Puppet Ganon gives no craps to what you need what you have to say or do. 
Now here's where you end up getting your final wonderful recharge stations. So be sure to end up using them as uh, much as you want, guys, because we're about to reach endgame. In the next episode, we'll be taking on Ganon himself. So, I hope you guys are actually enjoying this Let's Play, because, yeah, we're actually done. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna save my thoughts until, you know, until I beat the game, because, you know, I, I, I really did like, I, I love, this is, this is basically my rendition of what happened in Ocarina of Time, because I'm not gonna lie, I, the commentary for Ocarina of Time could have been so much better, so much better. And this is just my apologies for it being such a very, very bad in terms of play style that I really had to offer. It could have been much better, and this is the apology that I give for not being able to actually complete that game, and considering it's also everybody's favorite game. So, you know, I didn't want to go ahead and actually misuse or anything. But anyways, guys, that is the end of this episode of Legends of the Wind Waker. And the final episode, we'll be taking on Ganon himself. I've been Crowed Chrono X, and I'll be seeing you guys in the last episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. See you all next time.